The rainy season brought with it major hurdles for communities settled along canal which traverse the length and breadth of the state. Now, one of which is Bayo Oshinowa Street and Ugudu community. Now, since we last visited, nothing has happened in spite of the appeal by residents to the Lagos state government for intervention. Let's share that experience with you again as the people lament what has become of their domain. This is Bayo Oshinowa Street in Ugudu, just behind Kushofe local government secretariat. The proximity to the local government secretariat has not brought any reprieve for the people as they battle the issue of flooding, which often besiege them whenever it rains. <laughs> the marks left by the last rainfall are still very visible and they blame it on this canal overgrown with weeds and silts. The source of this canal comes from two major areas. One is the one coming from Ogudu Road, that is Ogudu Ojota Road, which it exits at just this Alaki Hall here, beside the Sacred Heart College uh, Church. So it comes in like this and goes like this. The second one is also the one coming from K2, which passes under the express there, near the church there, and on that. So, the sources of the water are just multidimensional from Ogudu Road, Ojota Ogudu Road, and also from uh, Ketu Aziz. The canal is not always dredged. It previously, it used to be dredged once in two years, but now once in four years. Once it rains, the whole of this area is over flooded. In fact, the water overflows. It is after several hours, it tries to go back to the canal to flow back into the ocean through um, um, Ogudu, as is there. The debris coming from these two houses always make this thing to be blocked consistently. We've been on this for a very long time. We've been appealing to government that they should channelize this. The, the dredging they have been doing in the past has been temporary measure, in which case they just bring caterpillar, it dredges it, within one year, it overgrows it and it becomes block again. But there should be a permanent solution to it, whereby it will not only be dredged, then they have to cast it on both sides so that the debris can flow off easily not coming back year in and year out to redredge it. The experience for them has been very disturbing. Whenever it rains, no matter how small, even if it is about 15 minutes rain, the whole of this area becomes impassable. Nobody could move. And there are a lot of school children who live around here, and it poses a lot of dangers to the children, and we lose most of our properties. It's been very, very destabilizing. It's been very, very destructive. Whenever it rains, you, won't be, you, you can't just imagine the level of um, flood, debris, you know, that the rain pushes towards this end. And um, the effect has just been so very, very destructive, like I said. Emotionally, it is traumatizing. Economically, it is very, very bad. Lots of people, the last time it rained, they lost their properties, lost many, you know, of their, you know, goods. And um, it's not just, um, okay. So we're just pleading with the Lagos, I mean, this is Lagos for God's sake, with Lagos State government to come down and see to the need of the people and then meet the needs of these people. That is what I believe true governance and good governance is all about. The chairman of the Residents Association tells of how much efforts they've made to get the attention of the concerned authorities. For a couple of years now, we've been having this issue of the canal. Now, I personally, as a, as a group and the community, we've written letters to the state government, within the to the Ministry of Environment. We've been going down to the office unofficially to see the engineer in charge of the drainage. And he's been telling us, don't worry, they'll do it, they'll do it, they'll do it. Now, I personally have suffered losses due to these incessant rains because you have situations where the rain falls and the whole place is flooded. My compound I had to fix last year, one of my engines I had to change, the gear of another vehicle I had to change because the water doesn't get into my house, yes. 
but it gets so much into the compound that sometimes two feet into the compound you have water and then because my house is lifted up the compound isn't lifted up water is getting into the cars now we didn't used to experience this issue normally when the rain falls it flows through the canal highest it gets to probably maybe two inches high on the road and it's gone but now you are getting water to about three inches four inches four feet on the road depending on where you are standing on the road and we can't take it anymore because properties are being lost properties are being lost lives are being threatened the other day rain fell at night i mean a lot of people were calling me in the night they didn't have anywhere to go and water was already halfway to their stomachs in their houses in their houses and that is because the whole stretch of the canal is blocked the sand has gotten back into the canal and has flooded the whole thing you can even see people crossing the canal on the surface of the water and that's i mean normally you can't cross a canal but people are crossing this because the whole place is blocked and we are appealing to the lagos state government we need them to come and do the needful because normally this canal should be dredged every two years because this is a government scheme funny enough and they collected monies when they sold the lands at least a million for drainage so that means that million should cover dredging of the canal but the canal has not been done it's not been done and that's i don't think that is really fair we wrote letters to them and they acknowledged the letters but yet no response to our plight and we are still going through this thing the rain that fell in february the first rain that fell water on the street in some areas was getting to two feet one feet and that was a minor rain that rain was less than 30 minutes so assuming we have a rain that falls for three or four hours what happens as at the time of our visit the local council chairman was not available for comments. For now, the resident wait anxiously, hoping that the canal will get a proper treatment and upgraded to fulfill its purpose. To tell your story on Eyewitness Report, simply take your short of happenings around you and upload to our Eyewitness portal. But first, remember to download the Channels TV app Launch and swipe to reveal the eyewitness menu, tap on it, and follow instructions on how to upload your story. Let's see what you already uploaded for the week. Here are some of the stories you sent in. Let's begin with this picture from Benin Ore Expressway. The eyewitness took this short showing queues of vehicles held on the highway. According to the eyewitness, motorists were trapped hours as cars were on standstill. He wants better road network and good roads across the country to allow for free flow of traffic. Here is another picture showing traffic gridlock on the Abuja Kaduna Highway. The eyewitness reporter who took the picture last Friday laments the difficulty that everyone at the scene had to face. The eyewitness is, however, worried about the killing of the commercial driver by a policeman which led to a protest by members of the driver's union who blocked the road. He wants something done to end the killing of innocent citizens. Next is this image from Ankanu East local government area of Enugu State. It shows the state of a road in Amafo Umoka in Miyama Autonomous Community. According to the eyewitness, the road is no longer motorable and it is a major access road to the community. It is appealing to the Enugu State Government and local government authorities to fix the road. Our next set of shorts shows a transformer being installed in Ofada by members of the community. Our eyewitness says, IBEDC recently tested the work done by partially energizing it. They want it fully energized so that life can return to the social and economic sector of the community. Report now of what is happening now in Ikwano Abia State. This video of a very deplorable road in Ikwano Abia State. Our eyewitness who traveled down the route could not believe the extent to which the road has degraded. He calls on the government to please reach out to the people. Those are your shots. We hope you keep them coming. Let's do this same time next week. Till then, I'll keep my eyes on you. Bye-bye.